Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. This is Elmer's Isle. We're going to do some pier fishing to begin with. If this is no good, we got lots of options, but we've already got some mullet. We'll try to get some more as we pass through here. We're going to target bull reds and other things. Let's see what kind of surprises we get tonight. I'm with my good friend Craig over here. So nice to drive down here. It's a nice night. Not a lot of wind, not very cold, not very hot some chances of rain on this but i think we're gonna be all right i think we're gonna come through it nice and dry oh i haven't been here in a while i'm really looking forward to this come on look at this guys we got plenty in the cart so something's gonna work i have a good feeling about tonight got us some nice big mullet we're going to start off with big chunks of cup bait let me see that knife over there One of the good things about this is that I can come at it just like I come at catfish. I'm going to use an ADOT with this huge chunk of mullet. I'm just going to come through the top, come out just like that. There we go. 50 pound mono. Most of you guys already know what I'm about to say. Three ounces of lead because I don't have anything bigger, but I think I'll be fine. It looks like we have a slack tide right now. That's on a sinker slide. So I'm going to put this out here. This bait is bound to attract anything from a bull red to a bull shark. I'm gonna throw straight out towards the Gulf. I am pretty much at the end of the pier, but I'm not gonna go to the end and throw out towards Grand Isle. Remember, I'm on Elmer's Isle. If I did that, I would be throwing right into structure. I'll be throwing into what's left of the bridge that used to go across this to the other side. So I do not want to do that. I'll just in instantly lose my stuff. All right, guys, I put that out there as far as I could. And now I'm going to put it in this rod holder. Normally you would have PVC right here, but these will work without the PVC as well. This is a 12 foot rod, so it's got, got enough length of a butt to come right down here. And I can tighten my line up. This is 80 pound braid, if I didn't say before. And this is a Daiwa B stick. It's a heavy action rod. Here we go. All right, guys, on one of my rods, I've put a sabiki rig on and we've lowered a light over the deck here because the lights out here are not working. I first tried this off camera without, without the light, no, no bites. And then we turned the light on and something ate the lid off the sabiki rig let's see what we can get there might be white trout down here now stuff is coming around this light finally it took a oh oh that's a speck yeah you're right i do want to keep fish tonight but i think this is gonna be shy shy of 12. we're just a a half inch shy of it we're I'm gonna let this one go. He's just about a half inch or more undersized. Dang it. Keep trying. I got one without the light on. Yeah, you're right. And uh, this is, oh no. All right, guys, since I know there's trout down there, I've changed things up. I'm throwing a sparkle beetle now, and I've already had a bite. I was just testing. That's what that, oh, oh, oh no, little clip was about. I, with this, maybe I could get a bigger trout because so far two undersized trout don't really cut it. Yeah, that was like a pretty good one. Oh, oh! Aww. Craig is using my sabiki rig. Finally, let's go see how big this one is. That's a nice looking one. Yeah, the 13. I'm sorry, guys. Look at that, 13 inches. That is a keeper. Yeah, you're right, that's the first one. That's going in my tote. Yeah, you're right, guys. I'm hanging out with Chad Champagne's cousin. Showed up out of the blue. This one is undersized. I'm not even going to bother putting them on the cooler. But it's getting better. They just started circling. Maybe we'll get more than one for this catch and cook. No. Oh, what do you know? I finally caught a fish on this pier here and the rain comes down. Come on, settle down. St 
still a half inch too short. This is the other pier on Grand Isle. I've been here for a good while now. Just now started to get bites from trout. There's almost nobody on the pier. Finally at the crack of dawn, suffered through another night of poor fishing out on Grand Isle. Lots of fish, a lot of them a half inch under the mark though. Did get a keeper, probably gonna go cook that soon for breakfast maybe. But let's bebop our way out of here and see if I can get anything else to throw on top of this. There's a lot of spots. About this time of the morning, when when, when you right at, get into pre-dawn, the bite just dies here because the bait disappears. And it actually slowed down and died a long time ago. I did bang into some bluefish, but didn't feel like showing you me catching, or I mean, me losing a bunch of fish. If you can't tell, I'm running out of steam, but there's some energy drinks in the cooler, so. Woo, let's go. Look what I just found. Wow. You hear it? Mama bird is upset. All right, all right. We'll get out of here for your sake. Did you think I was gonna use those eggs in the nest? We're gonna use four of these eggs. I'm gonna add this kale first, get it sauteing. I want this scramble to be a little healthy. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of milk, not a lot. I'm also gonna add pepper at this stage, beat it right in there. This time I did the uh, cleaning and filleting off camera, kind of tired. So, let's... as you see, I'm gonna chop this up a little bit. This is actually one of my favorite things to do with speckled trout, especially when I don't have many. Fishing down there was kind of pitiful. Did catch a lot of fish, as you saw. Well, I caught some fish. I'm gonna wait for the trout to get white before I add the eggs. Oh man, I almost forgot to add the Tonys. Not too much. Here we go. I know a lot of people think that only hipsters eat kale, and I'm nowhere near a hipster. Kale is actually really cheap in the grocery store. I like collard greens and mustard greens. All I could get when I went to the store the other day was kale, and it was super cheap. It was cheaper than spinach. Here we go. I'm gonna garnish it with this focake. It is seaweed, sesame seeds, and bonita flakes. It's a Japanese thing. Next up, kikoban. I believe this is well deserved. You go down to Grand Isle to do an all-nighter on trout and whatever, and all you get is one keeper fish. Awesome to turn it into a really cool meal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It does get old after a while doing all-nighters like that, you know, going all the way down there. Mm. So hungry. It's actually pretty good. Let me get into it a little more. Hmm. Wow. Absolutely nothing like, nothing like it. It is, oh, I just love making scrambled eggs with speckled trout. It just works so good, so tasty. So much flavor with that fish. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Going down there and having a horrible time gets old after a while, but for some reason, just keep doing it. I'll go back down there later on, probably in mid and late summer. It is a great place to, to go catch trout from the bank. There's not a lot of 
not a lot of opportunities for that. Mostly trout fishing is a boat thing, but there are places where you can go and get some from the bank. Not always keepers. Supposedly last week they were getting big ones and this week little ones. But we got a keeper. Mm. And it is good. It is tasty. And on that note, thanks for watching and subscribing. And I will see you next time.